Hi everyone, this is Sarah Stonecipher Boylan, Digital Missioner and Manager of Operations for the Lifelong Learning Department at Virginia Theological Seminary. So I'm here today to show you how to do a premiere video on Facebook. So a lot of people had issues and are continuing to have issues with getting Zoom to stream to Facebook. Um, so I wanted to provide this pre-recorded workaround. So this is if you have done your service or done your worship and you have the video ready to go and you're ready to have it pop up at a certain time on Sunday morning or Saturday afternoon or Wednesday if that's when you do Bible study. So, um, so I'm here to show you how to take a video that's already ready to go and upload, um, and then how to put it on Facebook for the premiere feature. Um, what's nice about it is that it, it creates a little event and it, no, and it lets people know sort of that like countdown function that's so fun. And from there, you can then do a watch party with various people and sort of interact with them as if they are watching it live. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to share my screen. That's the first important part. So I am going to use the eFormation Facebook page here. Um, if you all have any questions about it, um, as you can see right here, I do digital ministry open office hours on Fridays at noon and then on Tuesday evenings. Um, and so I'd be happy to have you ask any questions or answer any other um, sort of thought, like sort of points that you keep coming back to that really prevent you from doing your ministry well and you feeling good about doing your ministry. So I'm going to note that I have my video on my desktop, so it is ready to go. So from here, I'm going to post a photo video if that lets me do it. It is over on my desktop. It's very messy. I'm sorry in advance. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll down. I take a lot of screenshots. I'm going to go ahead and do worshiping online. So it'll be up and ready to go. I'm going to call it worshiping online. Make sure that you're also going to type, have a description ready to go. Um, and if you need to include the worship bulletin or anything like that, it is also there. I would recommend tags. I'm not going to put anything in right now, just so then that way it's a little bit less of an issue. If you can ch choose a different thumbnail, I might recommend that. That is not the most flattering, and I fully admit that. Um, and so from there, so that's that's it. So my my video is up and ready to go. I mean, you can tag people, all of that different stuff. You can see that it's ready to go because it has 100% down at the bottom. So I'm going to shift over to publishing options. And I'm going to go ahead and shift it to Premiere. And so when it says when your video publishes, it will be labeled as Premiere. After that, it will be just a regular video post. And so I'm going to go ahead and shift it to, let's say, the 28th at 12 noon. And you can always include a little image if you want to. We could just go ahead and use an unsplash image. I like that one. So then that way you can see what it looks like. Again, it's slowing down. So it will go in the watch feature on Facebook, which is sort of like their, all of their different TV feeds that are happening. Um, you can allow embedding, which I would recommend, and it will always appear on the news feed. If you have playlists, you can do that. And I can also offer it up to my other various pages. You can see how many I have going on. And so, th so this is sort of the bare minimum. And we'll be ready to go. So I want you to see what happens. So we'll wait patiently. So it says your post is processing. When finished, your video will be posted and you will be notified. So let's just scroll down here and see if it is up and ready to go. And my, it says right here, my premiere announcement was published successfully, Sarah's video. And this is what it looks like. So you can see here's my title, uh, here's my description, here's the title that I used. It has the date that I it will be published. And you can always encourage people to say, get reminder. So then that way, uh, when, it go, when it does premiere, when it does launch on your Facebook page, it will then do a little pop-up notification. And 
my video is about to premiere in about 90 seconds. Um, I will go ahead and show you the little notification that I got when my video was about to premiere in three minutes. Um, it is now about 75 seconds in, um, and I want to mention two important things that I neglected the first time. Number one, um, it takes the minimum amount of time in between when you upload a video and want to premiere is 10 minutes. That might be it actually. Um, but I wanted to make sure that you knew that there was a time limit attached to that, much like everything on Facebook, much like everything on premiering. So now it is up and ready to go. Um, I can also, as the admin, edit it. If you had not noticed it already, I can edit the description. I can edit the time. Um, I would encourage you to have people mark that they're interested so then that way they do get that pop-up notification the same way that I did as well. So now I'm at my countdown moment. So we will see what happens when I when it goes live right now. And you can see um, that it is going live right here. I have a nice little premiere. That's a nice little red button I got going on. And you can see that it is now focused on premiering a video. The sound is automatically on, so hopefully you won't hear my voice in duplicate of my, in my voice. Um, but it should be up and ready to go. I'm having a little bit of a buffering issue at my house, so that's what is happening right now. And so from here, you can go ahead and share it into your various groups that you're a part of or that have been created, you can see that I am the only one who is watching my video, which is, again, a little inception, a little, inception, a little uh, matrixy going on. And then from here, what's really cool about it is a lot of us have heard about watch parties recently, um, is that from here, you can go ahead and hit share. And then you can go ahead and hit start a watch, watch party. So this is where you would encourage your friends or family or your groups um, in order to watch this video with you. So it's sort of a, a doubling down on that you can wait for your video to be uploaded and then it will premiere. And then from there, it will then go ahead and Oops, we're having some issues. There we go. There it's up and going. And so I, as my as my individual self, can share it, and I can share it into any of these groups that I'm a part of. Or let me see if I can do it as a as a page as well. I can also share on a page that I manage. So let's see if I can also do a watch party as part of that. But what's nice is that I can also if you do have a, a congregation or a youth group page, you could share it within here as well. So it looks like I would just be sharing. Let's see if it actually appears. Again, my internet is so slow. I apologize, everyone. Watch, watch party. All right, let's see it. My Grammarly popped up here. All right, and then let's see what happens. And you can see down here, I have an e-formation. I started a watch party as well. And so that would be broadcasting from my page. So let's see what happens, what happens when it uploads here or reloads. So again, I'm getting pretty into the weeds here. And you can see that this is what a watch party looks like. So you're inviting people in. Um, and I believe well, that you can also tag them as well. And I'm gonna mute myself so in that way you don't see Sarah in triple, which is, which is what you're seeing right now. And you can also notice that you're, that you can see other people who are watching with you. And so this is, um, this is totally something that you can do and that I would recommend you doing because on that way you're drawing your congregation in and you're asking them to watch as the video is premiering. You can also do a watch party um, not with, not with a premiered video, but you can also queue it up and then revisit it of that if you realize that you had that one piece of Compline that you really loved, you could get it queued up and then you can um, do a wash party at the time of Compline. So with that, um, I hope that you all are doing okay, especially amidst uh, the Zoom crash that happened last Sunday. Um, but I think that the Facebook premiere option is a really good one. And so I hope that you take advantage of it um, and it's all of your services and connection opportunities this weekend. Shoot me an email so in that way I can know how it went for you and I look forward to hearing from you soon.